Ballers, we're here at the Big House Museum in Macon, Georgia. The Big House was the Allman Brothers' home from 1970 to 1973. The collection here at the museum is incredible and I highly recommend visiting. One thing I was really excited to see was the Casbah Room, where they would hang out and listen to records and also the stereo system they used to listen to, set up just like it was in the 1970s. And here's a photo of Barry Oakley hanging out right here on this couch, having a drink in this room. In addition to tapestries and comfy seating, there's a hookah, a couple acoustic guitars, and Jay Moe's hand drums an arm's length away. And of course, you can jump into the shower room with seven shower heads if you want to rinse off with a few friends. More on that in the next video. And of course, the sound system. The Allman Brothers and their guests listen to records on a Pioneer PL51 direct drive stereo strobe turntable. It has a great combination of easy to use features and it's awesome looking. It's a professional direct drive stereo turntable with sophisticated DC servo motor designed to minimize vibrations. It has two speeds, 33 and a third and 45 RPMs, but it also allows you to adjust the speed 2% during play. Playing four channel records requires extra tonearm precision and the PL51 had a balanced tonearm design with S-shape and anti-skating system. The result? Stable tracking and full brilliant response over every point of the record, man. The receiver and amplifier in the system was a Sony STR7065. Weighing it at 34 pounds, it's a nice looking receiver. It has a direct coupled power amp producing 60 watts per channel. It retailed for $399.50. In 2022, that's worth $2,922.87. It has a brushed aluminum face, beveled knobs, and green dials, which give it a sophisticated look. Some of the features include inputs for phono and auxiliary, two tape outputs, separate tone controls for each channel, high and low filters, loudness compensation, preamp and power amp input, headphone jack, and outputs for three sets of speakers. Right now they only have two speakers displayed, but I bet back in the day they used all three pairs of available outputs to have quadraphonic sound all around this room. Probably really cool. During this period, two of Dwayne Allman's stated influences were Miles Davis and John Coltrane. He'd been listening to Kind of Blue intently for two years, he said in an interview, so you can rest assured that he listened to Kind of Blue in this room while he was hanging out with his friends. If you dug this video, check, click like and subscribe, man, and check out this other one here. It really is extremely cool. Peace out.